from 1978. Here's the Casio MQ2 microcomputer quartz. It's got a clock, calendar, math functions, things like that. Uses two button batteries. There's some instructions on the inside that are a little convoluted, but it can be figured out. Let's say you want to set the time. And let's see here. Let's go with six times. That's TM, not really times. 20 TM. 30 seconds p.m. set and then time now it's running 632 let's see you want to set the date 2020 this is Y2K compliant date 12 date 11 date and you'll notice there's a little dot that showed up there by Friday to show that that's the date. Now we can go back to the time and then if you want to recall the date you just hold that and the date disappears once you release that. You can set up to two different alarms Uh, six twenty five times PM set, and then this will be alarm one. And you'll notice a little thing came there to show alarm one. And you can let it run for 10 seconds or just press recall to clear out of it. Now that will happen every day unless I clear it. So you can also set another alarm. 6, 26. PM. Set. We'll call this one alarm two. So now alarm two is lit. If you want to know what time your alarms are, recall one. Recall two. And you notice they're still set. If you want to clear them so that they don't go off every day, it's um, all clear, set. One, now that's gone. All clear, set. Two. Now that alarm is gone. If you want to use the countdown timer, which one go like uh, 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. It's not a stopwatch, it's just a countdown timer. So all clear. Zero. TM. Let's do one minute. In, set and three so it's counting down from one minute now if you're in if you've set it for a real long time and you go back to the time function for some reason and you want to try and remember what your time is you're counting it's just a recall three 
So that's what we're counting now. And it'll go for 10 seconds unless you stop it. Turn it off. And you can clear the timer before it goes off by all clear, set, and three. If you needed to do that. Math functions, four function calculator, pretty standard as you would expect. I don't know, 21 times 21. So let's see, all clear, 10, I don't know, times 10, is that 10 million? I'm not sure if I got it all right. Equals, you notice it gave me an error there. So I'm outside of its uh, acceptable range. Percentages, what's 12% uh, of 1,500? 1,500. Times 12. Uh, where's the percent? 180. How much of 880 is 660? 660, uh, what's that, divided by 880%, 75%. It does do constants, which can come in handy in some case. For instance, what is 1.5 squared? One point five times times equals 2.25 or what is 1 over 4 4 divided by divided by 1 equals 0.25 and it keeps track of your numbers for you. Let's see. 26 divided by 12 plus 45. So what's that? That's 12 plus 45 divided by, divided by uh, 26 equals, I do believe that's right. This will do all kinds of things with dates. Count the number of days between two dates. Tell you very obscure things about how long it's been since a certain date was on a certain day. There's just lots of examples like this, but um, we'll just do one here. What day of the week will be January 1st, 2030? So all clear. Um, 20... 30 date 1 date 1 date so 2030 January 1st will be a Tuesday how about that now you know It comes with a nice little pouch, and the pouch has a little window, so you can always see what time it is. I did a video about the CQ1 some months back, and it its display was never really on unless you turned it on, so you couldn't have a display like this that's where you could always see the clock. That had a VFD display, which is very power hungry, so by switching to these little button batteries, they were able to keep a display on all the time. So that's kind of it. I think as we uh, scroll out of here, I'm going to throw up a spec sheet.
and what all specifications this has for your enjoyment. That's been the 1978 Casio MQ Microcomputer Quartz 2. I guess there was a one that only had a six digit display instead of eight. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.